Thanks for staying by. We've got Scott Fitzgerald and Liam Smith after, I think you agree, just an incredible fight between Scott Fitzgerald and Anthony Fowler. I mean, a dramatic 10 rounds in which the final round, obviously, on the scorecards gave Scott Fitzgerald a win, the new WBA international light middleweight champion, the madman. Scott Fitzgerald, not looking his best, but I'm going to open the floor to questions from you guys. Scott, be surprised when you knocked Anthony Fowler down? Um, you know, the first time I proper opened up, I feel like uh, actually, and uh, well, I, I, he caught me a couple of good shots in the ninth. <clears throat> you know, I showed I can take a good shot, and then, you know, in in the corner going out before the last last round, my dad said, you know, go and make some happen. So, I caught me with a lovely what a right up I think, and then I just thought, oh, I can't miss this opportunity. So I've hit him with uh, a good left hook, and he's gone down. So yeah, I'm buzzing, like. Do you think at all before any time you knocked him down, he would be hands on the cards? Uh, no, I felt. I felt like I'd uh, been edging rounds, they were close and I understand the rounds like that could have been going either way. But I felt like I was doing okay and um, he could have been going to me obviously in his own side, but it doesn't really matter does it and uh, I know the 10-8 uh, round in the last obviously really helped me on the scorecards and got the win so that's the main thing. Were you surprised that one of the judges' scorecards were if they had um, Fowler winning quite a I had two uh, rounds even though I'd, yeah well, well just wasn't bothered, I was just waiting to hear he said one and that was the main thing, you know what I mean? But yeah, I suppose so. Eddie, I know you said these both have got a break for you, yeah. Did you see a rematch? Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's always horrible putting two young prospects in with each other because really, you know, in, a, in an ideal world, you would have saved that fight for five or six fights down the line. But both of these guys wanted it, they both felt they could win the fight. And I said before, the loser will have a big career and the winner will have a big career. Obviously, the winner. He's in a much better position. Scott will go top 15 in the world. And, but I just want him to just give 110% now to, to the sport because he's got such a great chance now. And I think this is the first camp really where I've seen him in top, top shape. You know, obviously made 11 stone eventually once he took his pants off. But, <laughs> but you know, you can't let these opportunities go, really. Yeah, because that's, uh, that's the key now. Because no one really, you know, every, no one really gave him much of a chance in this fight. You know, he's a big outsider. He's come through. He sold over 800 tickets. That was personally to Preston, yeah. plus of what else came. So well over a thousand came from Preston. You know the ability that he has to become a big star in Preston alone and headline major fight nights there. It's you know, and it's down to him. Yeah, really, big, big you know. thanks to all them who uh, bought tickets and came and supported me, and they were nice and loud tonight as well. So thanks to them, and I hope they all had a good night <coughs> and uh, drove me on to get our win as well. So like you say, um. To be honest, that's the first time I've actually tried at boxing, and um, it literally is. And you know, winning this puts me in the top 15 in the world now in this this governing body. So, you know, that's motivation for me to just push on and work even harder, 110, 120 percent, like you say. And you know, it's a big, big uh, future for me now in this game. And I've only just started really properly enjoying this game uh, again for, for the first time in for many years. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting, having a week or so resting and then came back to it proper. Scott, did you anticipate the crowd to be that favourable to you considering that it was in Fowler's hometown and um, how much of a factor did that play in the fight? Um, I knew I'd sold a lot and I had a lot of message from lads from Liverpool. You know, uh, good messages off them saying they really support me. So I sort of expected it, but I was absolutely zoned out actually. Uh, when I walked out, I didn't even really notice anything, you know, whether they were shouting for me or anyone, I was in a mad zone, so, you know, when I was actually waiting <coughs> for my music to start and for me to walk out, there were some young lads giving me some proper shit, like, but <laughs> I was just thinking, you know, buzzing off them, to be honest, I nearly got cramped there then, um, so I was just buzzing off them, uh, actually just trying to just focus on and forget about it, but, you know, it's, it's what comes with this point, and yeah, it was a good crack. And Eddie, just in terms of the fight itself, the spectacle, the atmosphere, did that mm. more than live up to the hype for yourself? Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's really caught the Im imagination of, of the people. Um, and again, like when you've got two sets of support, which always makes for a great atmosphere. And you know, I'm looking forward to seeing what's next. I don't know if you busted your nose, have you? I don't, I don't think so. I don't feel that bad. So, I mean, he'll be now mandated to fight Ted Cheeseman for the British title, which is a great fight. But there's other big fights out there for him. I mean, Sergio Garcia. You know, he said to me before this fight, I'm going to beat Fowler, then I want Cheeseman, and then yeah. Sergio Garcia. I'd love, I'd so, love uh, yeah. Cheeseman next up mm. uh, 
in the next, in the, in the no, maybe eight weeks, yeah. eight weeks oh, plus steady, time. Yeah. Steady. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> eight weeks. Yeah. Well, well, no, he's done shaking his head. Yeah. Give me, give me, give me two weeks of uh, chilling, and then, yeah. and then eight weeks from then. Exactly. 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 Yeah. All right, guys. Round of applause. Great performance. Yeah. 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 Got to get this forty mil, please. Yeah. Can you get off for a while?